In this video, I'm going to make a badge or key fob to be printed on the 3D printer. So I'm in Google SketchUp. I've run this from um, the web, which in, on your Chromebooks you should be able to find uh, from either Drive or from the launcher at the bottom of the screen. So let's click Start Modeling. Do you want to open it? No, let's start a fresh model. I'm going to choose meters for the units, but don't worry too much about that. First job, I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to erase the person that's there already. Now looking around in SketchUp is controlled by this bottom icon here. I can what's called orbit, where I'm looking around. Or I can zoom, which is the uh, middle one. And if you're on a, um, if you've got a, a mouse, you can use the mouse wheel very nicely. If you want a touchpad with a laptop, you have to drag up and down to be able to zoom around. And the other one that's worth mentioning is the hand, where you can actually pan around and do things um, and drag over so you can get the right view that you need. So you have to kind of use a combination of these um, to get yourself a view that you're kind of comfortable with. And it does take a little bit of getting used to. This is one of the hardest things in SketchUp to get yourself so that you are happy looking around at the view that you want. So this is probably the biggest cause of frustration for most people using it, but stick with it. It does get a little easier once you get used to it. Now I could use, what I could use is the um, rectangle tool to actually draw a rectangle on the ground, or I could use a circle to make an oval. Alternatively, I could actually draw something freehand. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to make a, a circle. In fact, I'm going to make an. Uh, there we go. There's my circle to make my key fob with. Um, I'm going to use the push pull tool now. And I'm going to raise up my circle a little bit. So, what I've got here is if I just choose orbit, I've got my 3D object that I can look at from different angles. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my circle tool and if you see here we've got an option of different tools including the 3D text tool. I'm just going to put on here Mr Adams's keys and then OK. Well, there's all sorts of text options that we can choose. Um, I'm going to put mine on the face there. There's a couple of things I need to change with this. It's a little bit too big at the moment. So if I click on the options with the um, which one is that I want for resizing? That's the one. Um, this is the move icon. I can move things around. I can rotate or I can scale things. And what I'm going to do is just scale this one so it's a little bit smaller and it fits on nicely. That will be just fine. One last thing that I need, I could really do with the circle where I'm going to put the um, hole for my key fob on there. And again, I'm going to use the push pull tool just to pull that down so that it's, there we go, nearly there, there we go, so that I've got a key fob that when I print it out, I've got a hole that I can attach it to the keys. All I need to do now is to make sure I save it. And for the 3D printer, we're going to export the file as an STL. And then I'm ready to import that and print it from my 3D printer.